Hello everybody, we are here on the top of the Honda Bug right now doing some work onto the roof rack and I wanted to give you a long-term review of the Ops power station. I have the 1200 watt Ops power station with two of the 100 watt foldable portable panels. What I did was I attached them permanently to this roof rack of the Baja Bug for a ultimate endurance and just torture test. I wanted to see how well these could hold up in the outdoor conditions 24 seven and see how long they would last. And um, they've done, you know, less than desirable. First of all, the power station has been flawless. It has worked perfectly the entire time I've had it. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it's a pretty powerful system, uh, 1200 watt inverter works great um the charging speed could be a little bit higher when i compared it to the eb70s blue eddy um it had a higher charging speed when plugged into the same panels i switch them over and this would consistently put out about 60 percent of the power that the blue eddy would but it still works good and it still does um uh, it does the job you know if i had to choose this wouldn't be my power station of choice but it's not bad for a medium grade you know power station that's pretty affordable the solar panels on the other hand have had a really rough time out here in the sun in arizona let me show you what they look like now so these solar panels have reached the end of their usable life for me that's not to say that they're broken they are still working they do still produce power even though maybe their output is degraded a little bit but you can see Look at this flaky mess that is coming off the panels. They are delaminating. I noticed this, it started a little bit back in December. I went to Tiny Fest and uh, I noticed that they started degrading there. And there was just a little bit of flaking, but now it's accelerated to a whole nother level. This flaking is, it, it's just taking over the whole panel. Funny thing is, is that this one panel is really bad. You know, it's just kind of delaminating almost everywhere. But this other panel doesn't really have much of anything going on. I can see little bubbles starting to form. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to be uh, dying. It's been less than a year that I've had this system. These panels have been up here for, I would say, about eight months at this point. And to me, this just isn't uh, acceptable, you know? I'm not really bashing the Ops brand panels it's really all of these portable flexible solar panels i don't like any of them all of them do this they all degrade they all fall apart over time and they just they're not a long they don't have longevity you know they're gonna fall apart on you pretty quickly i mean in the first year you're gonna start seeing this bubbling even if they're not out in the sun 24 hours a day you're gonna start seeing this degrading happening in the first year and that's just unacceptable considering that they're the price they're like three times the cost of a regular solid rigid glass panel that you would put on a home or you know a larger rig you know you can get a glass panel and have it mounted permanently that will take 10 times the length of time to degrade than these solar portable panels that they put with with power stations I'm not saying that there's not a use for them because there absolutely is. If this is one of your only choices, they do produce power. I've been running a fridge in the Honda Bug for, I'd say, five months pretty consistently. That's through the winter. And I can keep up by charging this power station, switching it out with the Blue Eddy, letting that one run the fridge for a while. And I'm like charging the battery in the Honda Bug. I have all these new LED lights all over the car. So I'm asking it to do quite a lot of stuff, and um, it's hanging in there, you know. Um, sometimes I do have to supplement this power with power from the bread truck, but if this was your only option, this was all that you could use, they absolutely do produce power. But for me, for the cost, for the longevity of these products, it just doesn't do it. It just, it's, it's just lacking too much. I would much rather have a solid, rigid panel that, I just mount permanently and I don't have to move it. Maybe I can make it tilt. That would be a cool thing. But other than that, I'm getting a rigid panel. I'm just getting a rigid one. I'm not going to use these flexible, portable panels that you have to set out every day and the wind blows them around and all that kind of thing. I'm just not into it. 
So I've started doing a little disassembly on the Honda Bug. I'm taking off these roof panels. Uh, I've taken apart the wiring loom, the wiring harness here that I had running down and that goes into the frunk of the car. I have this all taken out. I've taken the solar panel wires out of the of the loom and I'm going to start unbolting these, unscrewing these from the roof rack and I'm going to remove them completely from the car because I have a whole new upgrade going on. Just to give you a sneak peek of what we got going onto the Honda Bug, I got this from my friends down at Santan Solar. Santan Solar is in Gilbert, Arizona, which is in the Phoenix area. They sell used panels that are tested for extremely cheap. This was a 250 watt panel and I got it for only $64. That is an amazing value for the power that it puts out and what you're getting. Santan is an awesome company. Everybody uses them. Everybody in the RV Nomad community really knows all about Santan Solar. And uh, I'm going to be working with them a little bit more in the future on the homestead. Probably put some Santan panels in there. So the Honda Bug has just enough room to hold that solar panel on the top. It's going to sit flat right on top of that solar panel and uh, or that roof rack. It's going to sit flat right on top. And uh, I'll hopefully make it tilting in the future. But that will be a video for another day. That's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to give you the long-term torture test update of the OPS 100 watt panels and the 1200 watt power station. And uh, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll check you in a video really soon right down the road.